Well, I just got done with the dentist and I am amazed. I'm, I'm totally amazed. I got a crown and I've had a couple of crowns in my lifetime before this one. And I was fully expecting that he's, you know, going to grind on it, put that plate with the goo on it, the, the dental molding, and take a, a mold of my tooth. And then I got to come back another two weeks later, and then he's got to fit it. And, you know, it, it, it was going to be a long, drawn out process. Well, this guy is amazing, uh, this dentist. Uh, he's got all he's got all the, the cool toys but what he did I'll describe it because I, I wasn't aware of what was going on until until it was almost over and I got some footage but uh, he was taking pictures of my teeth and I'm like is that an x-ray or something he's like no it's a camera it, it's, uh, it takes a 3d image uh, a composite 3d image and it puts it into a, a computer program and he can actually make the crown in his office on, on, a, on a CNC machine. Uh, but anyway, the, the, this, the process, he takes a, a, an image, um, the computer gives him like a rough shape. It, it, it measures, it, it compares the bite and uh, it gives him a rough shape and then he goes in kind of like with uh, Photoshop and he can add or subtract material from the crown and it's a it's a 3d model and so then when he's done with it <clears throat> uh, you can look all the way around it I should have I should have taken a video of this it was so cool but then he feeds that information into a CNC machine. It's a it's a little desktop CNC machine. So here here check this video out. That is cool. It's like uh, snail mail compared to email. You know, you can think like, you know, come back in two weeks, you might have it in. I think it's done. It it fell down there. I used to have it. Yeah. Cool. That's it, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. Those are like hardened. I guess they're they look like carbide tipped or something. They're, they're like diamond encrusted cutters. Yeah. Cool. So then at the end, you know, the, the the piece falls out and and here's a picture of what the the finished product is. They uh, they bake it. It's 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 on a uh, it's on a little stem. So these blanks, these I the the hygienist was like comparing the shades of my teeth to, to match the shade to this tooth and I thought it was just a, like a color chart but no that's the actual blank for the tooth and here's a, a computer picture of it uh, and when he's done uh, it, you know they, they gotta bake it because it's uh, it's still in the soft form and he says he can get accuracy in this thing down to 10 microns and then um, what he does he just takes the glue puts it on top of oh this is what my tooth looked like before the crown went on he just kind of tapered the, the surface of it um, and then the tooth sits right uh, the crown sits right on top of that so it's not like a a, a, a totally uh, enclosed crown like like normal and Man, it was like 40 minutes from from the time he fed it to the machine to the time it came out of the uh, out of the, the oven, uh, it was it was on. And he said, uh, just give it an hour before I eat something on it. That's amazing. That's I'm floored. <laughs> um, but 
yeah, if, if anybody out there gets a crown, uh, see if your dentist office has one of these machines because it, man, it, it makes life so much nicer. Uh, not having to have the temporary crown on your tooth and then sometimes the temporary falls off and you gotta come back and you gotta get fitted. And, uh, man, if, if your dentist, like I said, if your dentist doesn't have it, I recommend, uh, you recommend that you get one. It, it, I don't know. I, can you tell I'm amazed? <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, here, here's what it looks like, uh, the finished product. But I'll take some stills and I'll put them in there. All right. Have a good one.